What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy Swayze here. And his partner in crime, no intensity. Guys, we just want to thank you for the support on our very first Thank video. you so much. Right, we can't say it enough, guys, and we can only get better from here and better for you guys. And without further ado, I'll let my boy Swayze take it away. Our video for today is going to tell you, or not really tell you, just give you a couple tips on how you can better your Call of Duty experience, enhance your gameplay, and just have more fun playing the game. Right. Number one, sensitivity, guys. Do not try to play on a 30 over 30 or whatever the top sensitivity is. Get a sensitivity that's comfortable for you guys, comfortable for your skill, and just comfortable overall. And this tip right here, this tip helped me get my KD word set right now. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is right now, but I'll show y'all soon. It's learning the map. The map knowledge is the best tip I can give you guys. Learn the vantage points. Learn what's going to put you in a better situation to win your gunfights. Yeah, guys, learning the maps is uh, crucial. Choke points, flank routes, uh, spawns, this is all crucial to map knowledge. Get your map knowledge up. Go in a private match and play against bots. Learn where they're spawning, and that'll help you learn your map knowledge. And then my next tip is stay away from your teammates. Don't get on somebody's montage, get multi-kill by your teammates. Just stay away from your teammates. That's where most of the action is, is away from your teammates. Get in their spawn and rape. A little mini tip also, your teammates are a little mini map. Use your teammates as a mini map and it'll also help you with spawns because wherever your teammates are at, that's where the enemy is not spawning. So use your teammates as a mini map and again, like you said, stay away from them. They're bad for you. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the mini map throughout the game. Learn stuff. Just learn learn stuff about the map. Just keep your eyes on the mini map as much as you can. As much as you can, guys. Another tip would be score streaks or kill streaks, whatever game you're playing. Do not try to run the highest score streaks in the game if you know that that is not your skill level. Honestly, don't do it. It's going to be bad. You're going to rage because you're not getting these streaks, guys. And, pl and playing a game mad is not ever good. You're going to do stuff before you think. You're just going to do a lot of crazy stuff. I, d I do it. I can't say I don't. I do it a lot. I get mad. I go out. I die so many times a game that I don't want to die. And it's just not good for you. Right, guys. It's really bad. Raging is bad. You'll make bad decisions. You'll start doing things that you don't regularly do. Just don't rage. Try to have as much fun as possible. And one of the biggest tips I can give you guys out there is just play the game. Just just keep constantly grinding the game. I've been playing Call of Duty for about seven years now, and I've recently just got really good at it. So, you know, yeah. just play. Yeah, to go back on our second tip about score streaks, use UAV. That might be one of the, low, the lowest streak you get in the game other than RC car. But use it. It'll help you with that map knowledge we talked about and learning those power positions. Right, guys. UAV, counter UAV. If you can get a hater, run hater. If you're going for nuclears and stuff, guys, UAV counter UAV hater, that's the three best kill streaks to run for that. But, you know, start low. Do not start high. Start low. That is the best possible preferred position. And work your way up. It's just only going to help you if you start lower and work your way up to the better kill streak. Then you better get raps, raised, and then you'll be in the games wrecking people. You have people raised, quitting, sending you messages. I got a list full of messages that people send me about me right, trying me too hard. Uh, guys, a few gaming essentials that we use, obviously, you know, scuffs and elite controllers. I personally own a scuff, Team Scuff. Thanks, guys. I'm not sponsored by them. And Swayze over here owns an elite controller. Team Elite over here. And, uh, and another thing, guys, it don't matter what people say because at this point, I don't really care. People say, use the guns you want to use. I use some try-hard guns, but I also use guns that are not so try-hard. I just like having fun at the game, and when I'm doing good at the game, I'm having fun. I'm not raging. I'm not getting mad. I love Nomad, when people send me messages saying I'm trying so hard. I just, just have fun. Use the guns that you want to use. Don't listen to nobody else's suggestion on the guns you use. Just use the guns you want to use to have fun. Yeah, guys. And uh, another gaming essential that you can use is probably probably the best gaming essential that you use is a headset, guys. Get a good quality headset. It'll help you so much. Better than a scuff. Better than control freaks. Better than a lot of these other things. A headset is so crucial to being good at Call of Duty. Yeah, because if you can hear footsteps, you can basically hear anything. You, the more footsteps here, the better it is. Because you hear, you know where they're coming from before they know you're coming. So you'll have the heads up on the gunfight. Right. And, well, we really don't have any more tips for you guys. So the gameplay... The gameplay is, I, this is me on 100. I went 35 and 1, I think. I want to say this is an older gameplay. This was like a couple weeks back when uh, I think we were grinding for that, that COD XP to get the boxing gloves. I want to bring you some gameplay of that. 
Yeah, guys, uh, I was in this game. I don't know the actual score because it's only from his point of view. You'll probably get my point of view soon, but... Yeah, guys, it was a pretty easy match. I think it started off teams weren't full or yeah, something the, the like that. Yeah, the team wasn't full. We had people joining, leading the game as usual. I was running blackjack. I was trying to get the the underworld camo or something, but I got that now. Now everybody else got it, so it's not even it's not even like cool no more. Right, and you can see that we're both on nuclear streaks. I don't know what happened to him, but I know for me, I, I kind of want to spoil it for you guys. Don't spoil it. But I'm, I'm don't, not, don't, not going to spoil I'm not going to spoil, spoil it, okay, that. guys? And then we, we're going to end the video off by saying, we haven't told you about this yet, but at 250 subs, we're doing a giveaway, either Elite Control or Scuff Control, whatever you guys prefer. I just know PlayStation don't have Elite Controls, but it has Scuff, so you want that, we'll give it to you. And if you want uh, Elite Control for the Xbox One, we'll get that to you guys at 250 subs. That's just our goal right now, where we're trying to work ourselves to. Right, right, right. And if you follow the link in the description, which is our Twitter that we're starting today, It'll be a nice way to stay up to date with us, along with YouTube, subscribing, you know, commenting. Being interactive with us is the best way to stay in touch with us, guys. And we are out. This is your boy, No Intensity. And this is your boy, Swayze. We'll see you next time.